All right, so how to pick up a girl in a bar. <laughs> this is something that I'm very familiar with and it's something that I've probably done for better or for worse, probably about a few hundred times. Um, so in this video, what I'm gonna be giving you is I'm gonna be giving you four steps to allow you to pick up a girl in a bar, find a girl that you like and the girl that likes you and being able to take her home, get her phone number, organize a date, do whatever, make some progress uh, with some girl. Okay, cool. So the first step that I'm going to give you is get yourself into the right mode and mindset when you're out, okay? Talk to anyone. When you first get into a bar or a club or whatever, a venue of some sort, it's gonna be loud, it's gonna be, there's gonna be flashing lights, there's gonna be people drunk, there's gonna be people laughing around and talking in groups. It's gonna seem very intimidating to you, especially if you just walked out and you haven't really talked to that many people. You're not in the right mode and frequency to start having fun. So what I like to do is I like to start talking to people as soon as possible. Now, if you're with your buddies or you're with your friends, make sure you have good energy between you guys and you're not just sitting down and saying nothing, okay? The best way to start doing this is to go to the bar, order a beer, drink, whatever. If you don't want to drink, maybe get a club soda and just talk to the person to your right or to, you, to your left. I would recommend starting to talk to somebody that you think is going to give you a good reaction. Don't worry about talking to the love of your life right at the beginning of the night, okay? <laughs> Don't do this. I, I take the first two hours in order to get myself into that mode. So if I show up at the bar at like 10 or 9.30, I'm not worrying about getting girls until around 11.30, 12, okay? I'm worried about me and myself. Remember, have fun first. When women go out, they are looking for fun. And if you're not having fun, if you're not having that good positive energy where you're in the flow state, they're probably not going to want to hang out with you. So that's the first thing. Go to the bar, talk to the person to your right or your left, then maybe talk to the person in the bathroom line. There's just some easy places where you can start a conversation where you'll probably at least get a five minute talk out of it or whatever. See where it goes and then just keep that momentum going, okay? Keep introducing yourself and talking to people. Now, when midnight comes around or 11.30 or sometimes it depends on the city that you're in too, like people in Miami or people in other parts, sometimes they go out a little later. So it might be pushed back a little bit for those people. It might be around 2 a.m. or something, okay? Um, so once that happens and you're in that flow state or even if you're not in that flow state, start thinking about some of the people that you talk to, some of the girls, uh, or maybe there's some girls that are kind of hanging around you, um, which ones that you like, which ones that you want to speak to more and see if they're into you as well. Okay, so uh, what I like to do is I like to kind of see which girls are hanging out around me. Maybe I've talked to some girls in the past that gave me some positive reactions. Those are the kinds of girls that I'll be going for. Okay, so once you've found your girl and you've gotten to her, step number three is to figure out if she likes you, okay? And the way you figure out if she likes you is you try and move her, okay? If she moves with you, like uh, you could say something like, um, hey, let's go to the bar and get a drink or let's go sit down. It's kind of crowded up here. I'm tired of standing. If she goes and moves with you, that means she's into you, okay? Or, you know, at least in some way, shape, or form. You know, there's a chance that she might have a boyfriend still and she just enjoys your presence, but she can't do anything. Um, but usually that means that she's interested in you. Okay, now you can also test this out with smaller movements too. You can take maybe a slight step back and see if she comes forward, or you can take a slight step forward, see if she stays there or takes back a step back herself. Now, a lot of times people are gonna be really nice to you, to your face, they'll smile, be friendly, charismatic or whatever, but you don't know if they're actually into you. The way you find that out is with their actions. People can lie with their words, but rarely will they lie with their actions. If a girl won't move with you, probably might be best to talk to some other girls. Like if they're saying things like, oh no, I'm I'm good here or it's a girls night we're just hanging out with each other or I can't leave my friends maybe might be good to go and talk to another girl who will move with you okay now once you have a girl that's willing to move with you step four is to then progress it to an area where maybe you can start touching maybe you can start getting into each other's spaces a little bit more and see if she's cool with that if she's cool with that then maybe keep progressing it farther don't go full in as much as you can. <laughs> like if you're just going for what you can get away with, like you're the makeout king or whatever, um, probably not a lot of girls are gonna be into that. Or maybe they will be into it for a little bit, but then they'll get kind of bored um, and then not be into it later, okay? Remember, you wanna build up some tension, you wanna build up some, uh, some push-pull 
have that romantic flirty dynamic going with you okay so you found a girl that you're into you're moving her around you're progressing it maybe you guys are getting closer a little bit maybe you're um going to different venues or whatever and you don't have to move her just within the bar like i recommend actually changing venues and seeing if she'll come with you to a different place because if you're trying to bring home a girl that night and if she moves with you from place to place chances are she's willing to go to your place as well too so when it comes down time to it, uh, if you want to bring her home, invite her back and maybe have something to do there that's like something platonic or something where she can get comfortable with you and decide if she's like willing to do this. Uh, I don't, I'm not into the people that just try and go for what they can really quickly because that strategy, even from a purely selfish standpoint, doesn't work. Um, and it's also not great for the girl either. Um, but if she's not down to come home with you that night, totally cool get her phone number and try and figure out something for you guys to do that week and then follow up with her there okay you know not every girl's gonna be down to come home with you the same night um, that's totally fine and a lot of times I find that might even be better if you want to start a relationship with this person okay cool a couple things that I should mention is that the nightlife you guys is crazy tons of different things are happening like you can't get upset if a girl gives you like a negative reaction she's mean to you or maybe she just like ignores you or, or maybe some uh, some guys rude to you or whatever don't get frustrated okay the worst thing that you can do is start getting angry at the world because if you're angry you're negative women don't want to hang out with that guy they want to go for fun so lead them to fun be that fun positive energy that they're looking for and you're going to have a lot more success guys if you're looking how to do this if you're looking to learn how to do this um, i have a one-on-one -on -one coaching program that's perfect for you this is my bread and butter although i think bars and clubs might not necessarily be the best place for everyone if you can get good at this you can uh, meet a lot of great Great, amazing women and also too it's gonna to help you out in your everyday life because you're gonna be able to introduce yourself handle certain social situations very well with strangers and other people and friends too so um, if you're looking how to do that fill out the coaching form down below if you seem like a good fit we'll reach out to you guys if you're looking to get trained by me in person I would recommend you check out my live training schedule basically I'm gonna be touring the United States in January and February and I'd love to see you guys there so check out the list of places that I'm gonna to head to if I'm heading to it if I'm not heading to a city that's nearby by you and it's a major one and enough people want me to come there, I will come there. So write that city down. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.